It is the first day of the Illinois back to school tax holiday in which uh, those purchasing school supplies will pay a smaller amount. The tax hasn't happened in Illinois in more than 10 years, and it comes to provide a little relief from the high cost of inflation. Eyewitness News to Sherry and McBroom was at a Walmart in Fairfield, Illinois, as shoppers prepared for the return to school. August 5th begins Illinois Governor J.B. Prisker's back-to-school tax holiday, in which anyone shopping for school supplies is going to get things cheaper than usual. The more kids you have, the more supplies you have to buy. And with all those supplies, things can really add up, which is one of the reasons Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker joined lawmakers to encourage families to take advantage of the back-to-school tax holiday. Donita Scott, who is shopping for her daughter who is entering ninth grade, and her son who is entering sixth, says she waited to do back-to-school shopping to take advantage of the tax holiday. School supplies are expensive, and I thought since they were giving us a break, it would be nice to take advantage of it. The state sales tax on school supplies will drop from 6.25% to 1.25% for 10 days. And we have to have a binder that's like $23. And I'm just like, what are you doing with that binder? What, what, what are you doing with it? But, but they have to have it. Fairfield, Illinois Walmart store manager Brent Atkins says his wife is an educator and this sales tax helps her to help her students. Just having this tax-free holiday where they have to help their class along where kids aren't as fortunate and don't have the items they need. It's huge. One parent shopping for three children says he plans to spend around $500 on school supplies and clothes. I think it'll save a lot of families money, you know, right now, especially with clothes and uh, school coming up. 5% is a lot of money for people buying three or four kids worth of stuff, so I think that's great. Eligible items include school clothing and sneakers, as well as book bags, calculators, and other needed items. With the economy the way it is right now, our local community, this is a huge win. But then also you have your organizations that will come out, buy some stuff that are nonprofit, but be able to donate that. With different people that I've spoken with around the store, they say they're unsure if everyone in the community truly knows about the tax holiday, but they believe it can be beneficial for just about everyone. The tax holiday ends in Illinois on August the 14th. Reporting here from Walmart in Fairfield, Illinois, DeSherry McBroom, Eyewitness News.